I could roll pretty hard here. If he keeps all of his hand, then I guarantee he got weapon. He got he has a weapon. He has to because he would discard if he didn't. I think I'm gonna save my set spells for with Flame Waker, um, but I still think I'm gonna do the one drop Mana Worm. I guess I could we get we could get him to use up his weapon. Rope Coach. No. This matchup's so bad for me though; it makes me sad in the pants. All right, so here comes Fiery War Axe because he he must have it. You wouldn't make sense no. to keep a full hand without Fiery War Axe against any mage, except for f freezing or frost mage. But yeah, so there it is. It was the third most card in this hand. I mean, we knew it was coming. It's not surprising. I think we wait one more turn so we can frostbolt his face. No, I'm, I'm gonna assume he's patron. So I'm just gonna try to get damage out of this as much as possible. And arcane missiles is gonna be terrible any other time against patron. Flame Waker in general is terrible right now, but I feel like this is my best shot. So I'm guessing we're gonna see abusive or execute here or inner rage. Either way, this guy's dead, but what now? It's almost preferred, so we don't get extra armor or triggers for him. I must prefer he dies early like this. And what do I need to do? Do I need to kill him more than I need to... I'm not gonna flame cannon or frostbolt, I'm just thinking about arcane missiles. We have to assume it's patron. Against Patron, this is terrible, so I should get rid of it as soon as possible, without him getting much benefit from it. I just, I think that's my best... It's It sucks to just throw Arcane Missiles at a single 2-2, but I think it's like the optimum time here. And yeah, I definitely got some huge value out of that Flame Waker. It's probably the, the most and best and least detrimental value that I could possibly get at any point in this matchup. What now? So I think I play Azure Drake anyways, and have him walk into it. I'd rather Azure Drake die than Lotheb die to the five damage. Yeah, I think so. I think I'd rather Azure Drake die. And if we get him to use his weapon attack, fantastic. If he Emperor's right now, we've got a uh, Fireball to kill it. Okay, so good. So we get him to use his Whirlwind effect, that is good. We also deal four more damage to his face, putting us that much closer to what our only chance is, which is to try to burn him before he blows us up. He's actually thinking against it, I think, for that very reason. Because he knows! Oh, execute. He's gonna execute. He's gonna hit me face and execute. Wait a second. Pa it's still possible to patron, because I have seen shield block and patron. Here comes execute, though. I have seen and heard of people running shield block and patron. So we're not gonna uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna stray from our assumption as to what his deck is yet. Do I want to stop him from playing spells next turn? Not necessarily. Well, if it's patron, see that's the thing. I still don't know what deck he's running. Let's play Mad Scientist now, though. Let's uh, unstable first. He could War Song Frothing next turn, but it really wouldn't make much sense. I think I should save him. Maybe I just Mad Scientist now. So, so I didn't play Lothab because I didn't want him to shield slam it. If I, I'm still actually on the fence. I don't know what deck he's running, but I, I just I'm always going to assume patron until I get hints otherwise. But shield block still isn't enough of a giveaway because I haven't. I still have seen people run shield block in in patron warrior. The There's Emperor. So I just kill him. Do I flame cannon or do I fireball? I think I just fireball because I don't need the. No, maybe I just flame cannon because I can fireball his face. That's a potential win first. Wait, don't I want a mirror entity? No, then I can't kill that. Shit. I think I want a flame cannon. And I guess I'll just ping that. No, he's going to get off a combo. I should kill her. Kill him. See what I get. Perfect. I wanted Mirror Entity. 
So I'm assuming he's going to try to trigger a combo this turn. Oh, okay. Yeah, he is. Um, I don't. I still don't know what deck he's running. I'm sorry, guys. I still have no freaking idea. I guess I need to pop this thing now, huh? So that if he's running patron, he doesn't get a bunch. Because th this could still be a patron deck because this thing could be used to trigger patrons, I guess. But it could also be used to... I need to stop guessing. I have no idea. But I need to keep guessing because it informs what I'm going to do. <laughs> guys, I have no freaking clue. Let's play Lothab. I have no freaking clue. I, see. <laughs> I have no clue what deck he's playing. <laughs> I'm just freaking. I am befuddled, to say the least. I am befuddled. I might play Sylvanas to uh, dissuade him from playing a big creature. I can take the hit. Okay, now we know. Now we know 100% it is Control Warrior. 110%. I'm actually not gonna Dr. Boom because I don't want to overcommit because he's got Brawl. Now we know, we can stop guessing, we know for sure it is Control Warrior. So, Brawl is gonna happen eventually. Dr. Boom is an obvious Brawl. If I Dr. Boomed, he would Brawl 100%. So I'm gonna keep my two creatures in play and kill this. I'm gonna save the Freeze. Do I save the Freeze? Let's save the Freeze. This is one damage overkill and we don't have to ping next turn. So we're gonna kill this. We're gonna hit for 10. And we're gonna go like that. And that's it. Nothing else. Not over committing. Not going too crazy. So now we know he's got another shield block, two shield slams. So we have to worry about shield block, shield slam no time combo. So either way he gets the he gets a creature. So now I fireball that. I'm gonna go like this. We're gonna set Vonis Flame Waker. This sets me up for some nice damage next turn. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. With the Frost Bolt and the two pings from Flame um, Waker. So this sets me up for a pretty good turn. Obviously, that's pretty good. Um, now, Shield Block, Shield Slam, or Shield Maiden, Shield Slam is still likely to happen. I, I can't play around that, but what what play, playing Sylvanas delays him from possibly playing a big creature, because he knows we could just take it. So now I can walk into that. To, uh, oh, he's got Execute. But then I take that if he does it. That kills that. That's smart. And then I kill that, and then he kills this, and then he plays a big creature. But what he doesn't know is that we have Dr. Boom. I could also kill this to take his Acolyte. Holy shit. But all that does is give us one card draw. Let's let him attack into it. Let's see what we draw. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I know Big Game Hunter's coming, but that's happening regardless. And I'd rather him hit Boom than hit our Ragnaros. Ragnaros is can, it, Ragnaros can be pretty good in this matchup because he doesn't. He, he won't have a lot of creatures in play at any given time. But let's see if he's teched two brawls. Most people don't. But on the flip side, okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's totally fine. Okay. So now he gets Boombot face. He kills Sylvanas, but Dr. Boom is still alive. Oh, execute. Nice. Good for you. Son of a We're going to play Counterspell. Um, and... I think I need to hope to draw on a rag right now. Oh, you know, we st some of our mid game's still really good. This is actually pretty good. I should have played this first. I'm an idiot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna commit here. We're gonna commit because this is how we could win the game. So we just go all out. 
Um, we've got three, six, seven, and then if we draw a spell, it could be fatal. Well, a spell will be a lot of damage. Uh, uh, I, I think we lose this game. Unfortunately. It seems like a very slim chance that we win. I'll show them. I'll show them all. But we gotta do what we can. Oh yeah, he just wins with Grom now. A couple attacks to the face. Ah, damn it, this this match was so close. We almost had it. Yeah, he wins next turn. With Grom. Damn it, damn it, damn it. What a bummer. <gasps> oh my god. We have a one in three chance. All right, wait a second. So I need to bring him down to eight. Fools. Right? Yeah. Fools. <sighs> My fire I'm so good at Hearthstone and Humble. The humblest of skilled players. Of all of the skilled players, I am the humblest by far. Absolutely. Wait, that, wait a second. That's a contradictory statement because if he was humble, he wouldn't be saying he was humble. Freaking warlocks. I'm gonna keep the portal. Okay, well maybe we get lucky with portal. Maybe we get lucky with portal. Done. We'll see. In the not too distant future. Um, is he handlock? I've been playing in turn one. He is handlock, isn't he? That bastard. He might coin out a Drake next turn. I'd like to be able to copy said Drake. Uh oh. It's like I'm a freaking sweet genius. It's like he's a sweet genius. It's like he's a sweet genius. Now the worst thing in the world is if he played an owl right now. The best thing in the world is if he plays another Drake. The sweet genius making all of your delicious treats into a reality. Have you guys ever seen stars, um, if you have not seen Star's Sweet Genius basically episode, you need to go watch it. It is hilarious. This guy doesn't have silence. That is so good for me. Oh my god, he's a sweet genius. That is hilarious. Okay. But I might want to wait until the board clears. Nah, F it. F it. Hold on to it. Oh, wait a second. Shit. I should have played this because we could have won next turn. 14, 6, 7, 8. Oh my god. We could. We might still win. I gotta do math. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta do math, guys. 7 plus 6. Oh, I would win if I get super lucky. If I get super lucky. Do I have to avoid. Can I avoid the luck, though? Oh my god, I win! <laughs> what? This deck is insane! Hit that follow button. I'm not begging. I am demanding that you hit it. If you do not hit the follow button, many curse shall fall upon your head. Eh. Do I save my spells for with Flame Waker? I guess it depends on what sort of deck he's running. I, I, if I feel like he's running Zoo, then I'm, I'm gonna save my spells for Flame Waker. If I feel like he's running Handlock, I'm gonna use them early to, to start to be aggressive. Lose the secret, you're probably right. I wonder. Secret might have been a bad keep. 
Um, but I didn't want to ditch my one spell. With a hand that is so focused on spells, I didn't want to ditch my one spell. If I ended up with two creatures from that mulligan, it would have been the saddest thing in the world. So I feel like keeping one spell, even though it's a it's a not as a good not as good of a spell because it's a three drop, I feel like that's better than having no spells but the coin or something. It could it just could have been really bad. Okay. So this is Zoo, which means I want to keep my spells for Flame Waker. Which means I don't even think I play Mana Worm right now. Because Mana Worm just dies without getting much benefit. I'd rather save him and try to get more benefit out of him. So next turn, I'm going to go on Scientist. Turn three, I'm going to ping. Turn four, I'm going to Shredder. Ooh, I want to fit Mana Worm in before this, though. Because turn five, I can coin with the Entity. But that could not go well. So I'll have to decide if I'm going to turn four Shredder or not. Ooh. I might wait till turn six. I can do Flame Warrior, Entity, Arcane Missiles. So maybe turn five, I play the Mana Worm, and then something else that I draw coming up. Because <clears throat> getting maximum value out of Flame Waker could just tear apart his board. I could also just play it early and then try to force him to deal with it. Like, I could play it on curve next turn. Nope. He would blow it up. Don't want to do that. What do we get? spell. This is pretty rough, actually. Maybe I actually coin out the piloted shredder. That might be a good play. I'd, it's not saving the coin for Flame Waker. Oh, you know what? Actually, let me just do Flame Waker turn right now and just hope I don't hit the new ruby egg twice. I'll just do this. is just about the best RNG I could have gotten. <laughs> oh, he is so pissed. He is so pissed! He is the most pissed. I could kill that right now by walking into it and fireballing the 4-4, but I think I need to save the fireball. So I'm gonna go like, oh shit. I'm gonna trigger it though if I play the Mare Entity. Let's just play the, let's just play this. Let's play this. I, I want to save the fireball for there's much bigger threats in this deck, much bigger health threats, and I can I can make him pop it and then just kill it with my shredder. So many possibilities. Um, I guess mirror entity would have been good though, because that could stop a doom guard. Well, not stop it, but copy it, you know. Yeah, but just shredder is definitely good enough. Absolutely. So if he pumps this up and trades up, whatever. If not, we've got a pretty strong board. Next turn, I can Azur Drake, a dark bomb. I guess that's not that out of place. That was a mistake. Um, I guess that card's not that out of place in a uh, demon zoo, <clears throat> which I'm assuming that's what this is, or just straight up zoo. Oh, that's a nice card. Yeah, I guess I'll do this. I wonder. Shit. Oh, and no, no, I'm having second guesses now. Second, second guesses. You know what I'm saying? Doom Guard is gonna be awful. Let's let him walk into it. That's better. Let's let him walk into it. Hard draw, mirror entity. Let's mirror entity. This is good. This is good. Fireballing a 4-4 is way too scary with Doom Guard existing and being pretty much guaranteed to be in his deck. Get in there, fight, maggot. That's about as shitty as copy as fight, could be, maggot. but whatever. I am just going to be playing another copy anyways. We kill that. We ping that. This is all right. sucks with this guy. Sever my wrath. Yeah. Um, four, seven, eight, nine. Turn nine, I can get all of those. It'd kind of be a hilarious turn. 
I, I really don't like not having board presence right now, though. So hopefully I get something with Of course I get shit with it. I mean, I guess that's what I expected to happen, but... It's kind of a bummer nonetheless. Alright, so I think I go for a big Flame Waker turn here. Oh, that really sucks, though, with that 2-4 in play. And that Knife Juggler. I can't right now. He's gonna get way too much value. I need minions. I need to kill this next... Uh, that needs to die. I'll, I'll get rid of the damage now, though. I might regret this really bad. But... If he gets Doom Guard right now, my mirror image protects me. At least from some damage. I, I just, I can't have those knife throw triggers with the, like, you know what I mean? I'm gonna have a really big turn right now, though, because I'm gonna draw two cards and clear a lot of stuff, my but... Shield for Argus. Maybe not. I guess we'll find out. I still think I should do this because of the card draw and everything else that I'm gonna get here, so... Three, six, seven, eight. I want to draw into another missiles. Oh my god. No. Come on, please. Yes! Good, 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 good. I think overall that was okay. I think that worked out okay for me. I'm really scared though being at 15. That's not too bad. Could be a lot worse. That stinks. Let's see if he goes face. That's pretty good for me. That's pretty good for me that he didn't go face. That's really good for me that he didn't go face. I am... I'm still really low, though. So I can trade trade. I could also hope for pings if I play this instead of playing scientist. Because I could get lucky. Let's hope for pings. I want to see if I get lucky. If I get really lucky, this would be even better. That's not really lucky. So he can still kill me, because he's got five in play. And he's obviously going face because he can't hit my creature. I could have taken the 50-50 just to win right here. But I don't... I feel fairly confident that he can't deal 10 damage to me. With how small his hand is. Actually, no, there's no way. He would have to play Doom Guard and Power Overwhelming, which he can't. So I win. I win the game. What am I playing? It's a Warlock. As, oh, fucking A. This game's a loss. <laughs> no cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion, mayonnaise, bacon. Is that what I want? You. Don't greet me. Check out. Yes. I know this is riveting. Today, I watched a man order lunch on the internet. You did what? I watched a man order lunch on the internet. I don't understand. Why would you do that? Well, I was sitting down watching a card game, but then all of a sudden it changed into a man ordering lunch on the internet. Was it fun? No, but I did it anyways. What's wrong with you? I don't know. You shush your mouth. Okay, lunch has been ordered. This is the lock of the hand. Counterspell doesn't really matter. Actually, maybe it does, because I think I want to rush this, bro. Look at that. Sneaky bastard. 
As much as I want to save that, I think I need a cleaver's board. So I don't get my face destroyed. Thank you. No, I still want to, um, you quiet. My best chance is still to face. We'll pull a mirror entity with this. I'm, I'm just thinking about saving my spells for Flame Waker. I think Shredder's actually all right. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that is perfect. Holy crap. Dark Bomb. So I am going to Frostbolt that, because I can do it with this guy. Because I, 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 if I can get him to live a few turns, I'll get extra value off of it, rather than having him trade into it and ignoring that dude. Plus, I couldn't ignore him when he has the uh, tempo advantage. Wouldn't make much sense. So. All right, let's play Mirror Entity. I think this is a good turn for that. You can play both, actually, I guess. Oh, it's count. It's freaking. That's right, Dennis. You idiot. It's freaking silenced. <laughs> I was like, all right, let's see where the, 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 the guy hits. Well, turns out he's not going to hit much of anything because he's... Well, he's not going to play anything I want to counter next turn anyways. Let's ping that. Get him further away from being able to kill this. The only thing that would suck is if he uh, plays around Entity with a uh, heal bot. That's... The bastard. That rat bastard. Because I want to save my spells for another Flame Waker or a Mana Worm. If I can. If it's feasible. What about Counterspell Scientist over a Lothab right now? Runs out on me. Now let's get pressure going. I can Counterspell the turn after. Get an extra turn with Lothab off of that. I see. Because with Lotheb effects, he's not going to be able to clear this board. Counterspell the turn after stops him from clearing it then. I just, I know I want to get Scientist in place soon, because he's going to be playing Giants soon. Like that. Just freeze it. Counterspell, freeze, Scientist. So this sets us up for potential victory. However, there's probably going to be another giant, and there may very well also be a taunt. Molten is the concern right now, and Defender of Argus. Those two really hurt, but we're going to get by them because of Flame Cannon and Double Arcane Missiles, but it still sucks. One taunt is very good for me. If he does nothing else right now, he might heal. Heal, heal would uh, stop me from winning. With one, with just one taunt, we have a chance to win. If he plays Sludge Belcher, oh, Shadow Flame. I think we might win. It's uh, gonna come down to RNG, but we might win here. Uh, I don't need to play Apprentice to get this to trigger, so I'm not going to. Here we go. It's bad. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Ooh. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> That's it? You can't even ask for anything better. That is the perfect game.